Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about the PNID development and updation or revision checklist. Okay, so what is the checklist and what why it is important as a process engineer that we will discuss in this video. Okay, and I'll also share my experience as a process engineer while preparing or while developing and updating the PNIDs. Okay, so let's start the video. So as we know that developing and updating PNIDs means your piping and instrumentation diagrams are critical tasks in process engineering. Okay. And we also know that PNIDs are known as the Bible for the plant. Okay. If you work in a chemical industry, if you work in like refinery, fertilizer plant, petrochemical plants. Okay. So you must have to use the PNIDs, right? So if you would have the better understanding of the PNIDs, then only you can work or understand the plants in a better way. So what is the checklist to guide the process or to guide the draft man while preparing the PNIDs? Let's see it. So the first one is process understanding. Yes, while preparing or developing or revision of the PNID, your process understanding is must. If you will have the better understanding of the process, then only you can revise the PNID. Okay, and you can update the PNID or you can develop the PNID. So, first of all, please confirm the understanding of the process. Okay, and please read the process description. Okay, and identify any changes in the equipment or instrumentation. Okay, also check the proper loop, also study the PFD. PFD or BFD. Okay. Then what is the next? The next is your equipment identification. Ensure all equipment is accurately represented. Okay. And like for example, including vessels, pumps, heat exchangers, walls and instruments. Okay. So from where you will see all these symbols, so you can see these symbols from the legends. Okay. So obviously, if you are developing the PNIDs or revising the PNID, so there will be the legend seats okay, of the PNID or maybe your company would have the legend seats or for that particular PNID which you are revising, there would have the legend seats. So please check that legend seats, check the symbol of the walls, pumps instruments and the vessels and update it accordingly okay then your piping layout please verify the piping routes okay and connections to reflect the current plant configuration if there is any change and then update the pipe sizes and specification based on the process requirements now the next point that is very very important and that is your instrumentation Confirm instrument types, location and tag numbers. Okay, the instrument types when you will check it. So you will check it based on the what is the service of the fluid, then what is the temperature and the process variables. Okay, which type of the instrument is suitable here? What is the location? Obviously, then you will give the tag number as per the area code or as per the your PNID, right? And if I talk about the symbol, so that symbol you will see from the legend seats. Okay. And ensure the instrumentation symbol and abbreviation to comply with standards. That point is also very, very important. For example, what you called level control wall. Sometimes we called LCV. Sometimes we say LV. Same for the flow transmitter, flow control wall. So, how do you pronounce that or how do you write in your PNID that all you will see that from the legend seat. Okay, so if you see here, there is one typical PFD that is this one is your PFD. Okay, you can see here. So, if you would have the basic understanding of the PFD or the your process, then only you can prepare the PNID in a better way or if you will have the good understanding of the legend seats, then only you can update the symbols in the PNID of the walls, vessels and your mechanical equipments. I hope you understood this point. Now let's go ahead. So here as you can see, the this is one 
pn id okay and i'll show you the others as well for example here in this pn id this is your line number okay this is the vessels which we are using okay this is the instruments which we are using and here you can see the tag number that is ft ft is your flow transmitter this is tt that is your temperature transmitter right so that's how we represent the symbols in the pn id so that all understanding we must have these are the titles here like below you can see these are the notes the important notes which we place in the pn id right now walls this part is very very important to consider so please check the wall symbol okay types which type of the walls you will use where the actuation means whether you are like whether you are using the manual wall or motor operated wall control wall or on off wall you must check it then verify your wall tag number and ensure they match the control narratives that point is also very very important then your lines and line numbers always ensure that all the lines are correctly numbered and labeled there should not be the duplicate line because when and it could be catch from the line list when you will prepare the line list so you can catch that point from there okay and if there will be a duplicate line obviously the piping engineer would have the difficulties in their documents okay then update your line specification including materials size and class so if you will see here the PNID line number so in the line number like the line number includes the size the class of the your line number means the MOC the fluid insulation specification or insulation sizes okay so these all points comes there also the line number so you must have the understanding of the line how to read the pipe how to read the PNID line number if you have any like difficulties in that so I have already prepared one video about it you can check it out that as well okay then the control loops this point is also very very important because see if there is one level control wall okay so with which LT it is having the connection that is also very very important and we will have to show that in the pnid same if there is flow control wall so with which ft that is controlling or if there is the temperature control wall so with which tt it is controlling that points are important and we will have to check it out and then we will have to implement that in the pnid okay i hope you understood my point then utilities and services so please include the all the utility lines for example your steam line your dm line your process water line demineralized water line okay then your instrument air line process air line and then whatever the services necessary for the process please include that or and prepare the pni like pnids for the utilities also prepare the distribution pnid then your safety and relief system that point is also very very important why it is important the, why the safety is important i have already prepared some videos about it so please verify the representation of the safety devices for example your psv prv the rapture disc okay and put that symbols in your pnid please and also ensure that where that's outlet is going on then update the your relief wall set points and specifications okay i'll show you that as well so if you will see here this is your psv okay and in this case the psv the outlet of the psv is going into the atmosphere right but in some cases it will not go to the atmosphere it will go to the blow down so you will have to check it out your process okay in in your process where it is going and then you will have to show that root map okay so that's how we represent the relief system devices in our pnid and the relief systems are very very important with respect to safety please understand that point 
then next is your drawing consistency it means that check consistency between the pnid pfd and your process description and other engineering document because your all documents should be aligned your all documents should be speak one language okay because see for example if your pnid is saying something your pfd is saying something and in your process description there is something okay so there will be the very big problem please understand that then the annotation and documentation what is what is the meaning of this it means that add necessary annotations including your equipment specification your equipment details special instructions if there is something you can simply note it down in your pnid the relevant data and the document any deviation or special condition so you can simply mark it in your pnid note section then please please and please review and approval please follow one review system in your in your company like it could be the process of the idc okay then why it is important because if you have the draftman has prepared the pnid okay then you check that pnid as an engineer okay then you show that pnid to your manager or the senior manager or the hod right then please release that pnid to the internal review to the department so that all the departments could could check that pnid for example piping mechanical instrumentation electrical civil okay and if they would have any comments please check out that comments if that comments are necessary to incorporate please incorporate that comments and then proceed to release to the client right so please conduct a, a thorough review with the relevant stakeholders then obtain necessary approvals before finalizing the pnids that point is also very very important otherwise you will get the so many silly mistakes okay and the silly comments from the client side and he will or he or she will like think that you are the dumb person okay please that point is very very important and we are like currently we are facing these issues because of the manpower okay then there is the revision control means clearly mark revision numbers and dates okay you can show that with respect to like like the cloud if there is some revision you can simply show this to the client or to the internal department as a cloud and you can simply write here like that r1 r2 r3 and in your title box you can simply write down about the revision for example the revision 1 what is the purpose of that revision who checked that pnid who approved that pnid and all that okay then implement a robust revision control system same when you prepare the revised pnid also send that pnid for the revision before approval and then review that pnid thoroughly with the stakeholders with your managers and all okay because that point is also very very important then please compliance with your industry standards okay like isa iso and if the company has some specific guidelines okay because each and every company prepare their specific guidelines before like before releasing the pnid okay what should be there okay what you must check as an draftman as an engineer so you can also comply that then in the later stage you can also prepare the as built documentation or as built pnid before that you will have to release the pnid for the review then for approval okay then for your like you can say for the construction then for as built right so this is in the last stage as built means whatever the built in the practically that you will have to document in your pnid okay right then in the last whatever we have done so far you have to document that in a training form so that if there is some person comes in your pnid as a new baby then you can show them in a training form like what is your specific guidelines about the pnids religion okay and how do you prepare the pnids in your uh, in your office and okay so that's how you can do one like you can prepare one ppt okay and you can like like frequently you can do the training about the pnids development and all about the process engineering development and all 
and that's how we develop the pnids and update and revise the pnids in our offices okay and there is one thing which i would like to say please do not release pnid again and again again and again what you can do release pnid in revision 0 okay then try to collect the all the departments comments okay and if that pnid has to go to the your client then also send the pnid to the client and get the comments and collect and incorporate all the comments together in the revision one then release it okay do not release the pnids like in in a week two times or in a week three times that is not the good practice which i personally uh, think release the pnid on but after complying all the information okay so that's all for the today's video i hope you learned something new from this video so that's all for the today's video thanks for watching till then keep learning Thanks for watching.